Hey there American Horror Story fans, it's finally here, season 6, and the theme has been revealed, it's My Roanoke Nightmare, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, which isn't a massive surprise to me because I've seen rumours of that floating around the internet for quite a while, and I was actually telling people to not pay attention to them, because my understanding was that the poll was still going and that that was just a rumour that had been leaked, but no, it really genuinely is that theme. Um, so I just want to start off by saying where I'm at because I know a lot of people weren't crazy on seasons 4 and 5. I really like 5, I've really liked 4. The only season I'm not massive on is season 3 which is Coven. Um, I just found it a little bit out of context when you come from such a dark season, season 2 which I love, um, to suddenly have this kind of slightly lighter. Also they're witches so they can't really die a lot of the time so it's like an episode will end with someone dying and then the next episode they just come back to life. So yeah I wasn't crazy on season 3 I'm afraid but I pretty much love every other season for different reasons and this one looks like it's going to be a really good one as well like first gut instinct is I'm really enjoying it although there are some key cast members that I really enjoy that um, don't seem to have appeared yet which is a concern although Miss Gaga does appear to be just very slightly in the new trailer I think I can just see her in the background next to Kathy Bates um, Evan Peters he's in the credits but he's not in the I mean, I'm, I'm not cool with that. We need to get some other pieces in there. But aside from that, it's been really fun. I really like the theme in that it is very reminiscent to me of Murder House. It's nice to have this haunted house thing again. And um, there's also this documentary format which is kind of playing on the tropes of the shaky cam horror movies, a paranormal activity kind of thing with some security cameras watching the action. I'm sure that will come into its own more and more. Um, but there's also this angle, uh, it, definite Blair Witch nods. I can see how some people who aren't completely in on American Horror Story might think that they're copying and I think that the point is that they're paying homage to classic horror stereotypes and, and things that appear often. The documentary format is going to be an interesting one though because watching it initially, um, I really enjoy it for an hour, but obviously there's going to be 16 episodes in the season so I'm, I'm not sure how they're going to keep it going through the whole season but there is that kind of implication that the theme may change and that something else may happen this Rowan OK nightmare which I'm, I'm English obviously so I don't really know a lot about the history from what I've read it's to do with a village that disappeared which sounds really interesting um, but obviously it's not something that my history lessons at school taught me about and quite frankly I'm too old to remember what I was taught even about English history these days. The logo reminds me quite a lot of like a new metal ad. It looks like my chemical romance, which I'm not crazy on. Cast wise, really happy that we've got Sarah Paulson back and Lily Ray. I like the way that there's two actors playing the same part. It's quite interesting seeing because I think that the way that Sarah Paulson delivers the character does feel a little bit more acted almost. Um, that's just her style, I think that she can feel more of a like classical actress and Lily Ray does fit the documentary bit a bit better, so that's quite fun. It's really nice to see Cube Gooding Jr. coming through, um, having been in the true crime story. Really looking forward to seeing those two as a couple because that's kind of weird as they were competing against each other in that season, which was also really good. Um, obviously delighted to see Angela Bassett turn up and her character looks really interesting like they lay her out quite broadly that she has problems with alcohol and drugs and that she's had a cop side to her um, and obviously her dynamic against the yoga teacher Sarah Paulson that kind of sickly sweetness which I do always find is a little bit there with Sarah Paulson anyway um, still love her she's still fun but there is something like about her that she is kind of intrinsically a bit saccharine sometimes, a bit too goody-goody, I guess. A lot of people are getting very upset about the lack of credit music, and I really think that's probably one we just need to wait on, and that'll probably come in another episode. They still end with the music, so chill, everyone, chill. And if not, just put it on your phone, you can just play it for funsies. If you want to just walk along the street and think that you're an American Horror Story, just play the theme tune. Sorted. Benjamin Bloom, who sometimes does videos with me, watched the first episode with me. He is not an American Horror Story fan. He was really struck by the cinematography of it. I said to him this is generally... It is a show that has great cinematography anyway. Um, he was really taken by a few moments. There's a bit where Sarah Paulson um, is pushed into a jacuzzi and like almost pushed down. Um, and he... It's, it's interesting how they always do this thing where there aren't jump scares, but it's still scary and it's really executed very well. I I mean obviously it's hilarious that the plot line is that they are living in the city and then they decide to move to a house in the woods. Like you see the house and it's like, oh yeah, what could possibly go wrong there? This is definitely a good move. Go to the creepy house in the woods. 
like said no one ever. The teaser trailer seems to have Lady Gaga in it, but other than that, it's going to be a matter of waiting and seeing with this season. See, I'm really interested to see how um, obviously Evan Peters is going to fit into this because it'll be a sad time. I think this is the first ever episode he's not been in. Um, but overall, yeah, I thought it worked really well. I thought it was completely fresh and new in with with the documentary film style, but also rooted in the first two seasons in the style in that it's a little bit more serious and it feels a little bit less flashy. But that may change. You can still see that there's this um, big spiral staircase and the building itself still very aesthetic, but that's what I like about it, so I'm not too unhappy. But what did you guys think? Did you like it as much as I did? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to keep doing these reviews if I can each week. And fingers crossed for another great season of American Horror Story.